Mark's Yamaha. Hmm, it's starting to look like Trigger. pieces I think. One of them is uh, over here and it goes right there. We're going to super glue that there first. <coughs> heat this up and I glue this together. Spread this apart here a little bit and match these up. Push it together and it's uh, kind of busted loose up to that green piece of tape there and on this side the same thing. Loose all the way up to there. This piece here I guess will stay. Yeah, we'll see. I got a piece of wood inside here. I can uh, use to push this apart, but I get an assistant to help me. Right there. I can just stretch that out. Push that together. So, we'll uh, get it ready. I think it's a piece that fell off right there. Okay. Put that with these other ones that fell off here. Look at this. Uh oh. We got pieces here. Put it there. We'll save it. See any more? Could be. Okay, most of this is back together here. Push this down. This is kind of something missing underneath here, but I have the most important part. Oops. And I'll lose that too. Oh. We gotta push that back where it was. Oh, right there. Oh no. Put this with this green tape under here. We know where that goes. Okay, this is going to be a pesky thing. Perhaps I should glue this down first. This, does, this doesn't seem to spring too much. I, it does a little bit in here. Glue this up from here to here. And this first. Push that together. Just this damage. Then we'll deal with this over here. Because to fix it all at once is uh, too difficult. But we'll put this little piece in here after we glue that. Very important. All right, we'll save that there. All right, this is good. We'll get some. We'll heat this up. Stick some glue in here. 
and from here to here and this mush here will hold this down I think we're gonna have to I don't know if I push on it yeah it's gonna have to have a little clamp there I'm pretty sure right there yeah, it doesn't move much boy it's pretty good maybe right there should have a little something to hold it right there piece of junk plexiglass makes a real good clamp intermediate because the glue doesn't stick to it okay got an electric heater on here blowing in this hole and my god you can feel the heat pouring out here well, the guitar is nice and warm here. All of this is pretty hot. Heat blowing out. We got our little plexiglass calding here. And we're going to put some glue on here right now. And clamp it. So, we got our little super glue plexiglass clamp here. That's hot like heck. All right, pull this off, shut this off, and uh, bring it a little closer here. There we go. much as I dare to go I've wedged this open pull this out and a little more glue in here there that's good oh that's very good look at squishy I'm gonna put too much there is such a thing but we get <clears throat> this is a piano shop not a guitar shop so we like to we use a lot of glue there we go beautiful this will mush together nice we'll fix this crack here at the same time squish it in there good we don't want no rod bad buzzes or rattles i guess and then we have a hot cloth and what's nice about the plexiglass you don't have to worry about paper or anything the glue does not stick to it so okay so we got to put this back in here like this okay probably gonna need this make sure that's together properly okay that's good now we put our plexiglass thing here and we can see what's going on through it also which is very nice and push this back up here a little bit there like that see push that little piece there it won't stick to the glass okay now we're going to try and clamp this with these crazy clamps we got Pian piano shop clamps we don't have guitar clamps so we're gonna get some there we go just put a little bit of a squeeze here like so very gentle I see the bottom is broken here too. I have to do that later. There. Hmm, this doesn't seem to move. That's good. Okay. Another clamp up here. Like so, and we should be good and be ready for our little mini clamp go just like that 
nice about this glue is we can just wash it off after if there's any excess here stuck between here and now it's time for our little mini clamp here as you see it's already super glued on <clears throat> this goes in here and we'll clamp this and it'll hold this nice and straight right like that gently there very good our first repair is made probably should push this one back together while I'm at it here this one because this might glue itself I can always unglue it if I have to time here there it goes slipped in place oh there we go oh that's good see this is all level here now with this we'll put this one in later but I can hit this with a little real hot water if I need to move these glue joints again We'll leave that set right now. I think there's enough glue in between there. There we have it. This is good. This is good. This is lined up well here. Yep. Could use another squeeze right there, maybe. A little one. Junky clamps. All right, maybe, maybe right there would be good. One more. I have little clamps. It's a friend of ours' guitar. Dropped it down the stairs, and rumpled tumble into a cement wall. Apparently, he's had it for like 30 years. So here, this is all good now. This is good. Mm. I, 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 that's good enough right here okay good we'll leave that set till tomorrow and it'll be hard as a rock Herschel's guitar again and yesterday we fixed it we glued it from here to here and this is all back together this is all good and strong again here if it's got cracks yeah, just like a piano. See, this glue here will wash this off today. And we'll put this little piece back. And then we'll put these in. And some of these that are missing afterwards. These pieces go back in here. They're little tiny pieces that make uh, that go in here and over here. And maybe right there. Some of them are missing, I think. They flew off on the staircase. Anyways, here we have it. It's almost ready. We have Mark's guitar here again, and we did this repair yesterday. It was unglued up to this green tape all the way in through here. Now this is good and solid in here. All glued back together. It'll be good. The level. Now we're going to do this one. This one ain't so hot. But it's easier than this other one was. This was a tough one. Yeah. First of all, we have to put back these little pieces here. This one here. This one here has to be glued back to here first. Because it goes underneath. There. You have to push this back into the grain here. It's nice though, see? And we might have to do a little trickery here, push this out a little bit. 
to get this in or I might have to do something here move this out because it goes under under there but it fits nice oops see how nice that fits a little purfling thing is still in there so we're going to try to get this i might be able to lift this up high enough oops there that's good see that snapped back in place so we're going to fill that up with glue if i can stick this in here first and then lift this up high enough to push that back just like that there that probably will work if I got a different object to lift this up with there yeah just like that see and push that right in and this one has to be done at the same time I fit in there it will fit good I have to stick my arm inside or something this is gonna be a tough one I'm going to try to do this all at once. Um, if I can get my hand in there. And I can't. I might be able to push it up enough to flex this and get this in there. I'll have to get a tool to push in there and lift that up. Up high enough to do like a peak. Either that or take this off and I don't want to. If I can do that, we'll try. I'll make a little bent tool to get in here and push up on this. And meanwhile, we'll leave this out and we'll glue this one. Put that little piece on there. And we'll put this piece back that we just broke. This one. Okay. Herfler's guitar. Okay. This is the second part of the repair. Putting these little pieces back. And I didn't show in the film, but maybe I should have. We put this little piece back here and glued this one down that ripped out on me before. Um, made a real crude thing here just about one minute and this pushes this up and see it goes right in like that and we can push this up up like that to allow I don't have to take this off but to get this piece in here this has to push up like a roof of a house and then snap back in place and once these pieces are glued in and all this is flat down this is gonna have to come in from the end so after this is all glued in I just might have to open this take this little piece that's left off of here and slide this in from the end like so and go down yeah, it might fit without see some of this goes interlocks underneath so I'm gonna have some troubles here maybe we'll leave this unglued for a while whoops don't want to break it anymore so we'll leave this unglued for a little while to bring it up so this can snap in and then glue this all in one shot from here to here but right now we're gonna put this piece back in and this crack and this crack will be repaired here right now got to heat it up first okay we're gluing up number two gluing this area here and it's very hot I'm heating it for about five minutes 25 percent and oh my goodness pretty hot I should say 170 so we don't want to leave it there too long it doesn't take too long to heat this skinny little wood up 
piano soundboards take a long time. Now, hopefully everything's ready here. So we got my glue ready. Peanut butter glue. And this is ready. We're going to put this piece back. And we're going to put some glue in this crack here. some glue over here mm -hmm. like so make sure it's in there good it makes it kind of slippery too everything kind of wants to slide together nice okay now we're going to put this here oops I got too much I'm sloppy and a little bit here a little bit there over there a little more here Maybe on the end grain here because it sucks it up. It's old wood. We're used to working with old wood, <clears throat> these pianos. Everything's a hundred years old. Okay. Now we're going to need this cockamamie device we made. Stick under here. I'm going to just push that up nice. See? We'll get this in here. That's why we heated everything up. Takes a while to put this together, and we're going to push this up. Get in the right spot, just like that. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, there. Oops, not too much. Oh, there, beautiful. Glue helps everything. We don't want to glue this over here, so we're going to stay away from this side. We use a dry finger to push this in here. But over here, we use the wet finger. There we go. See how nice that goes back together? Boy. It's very, very good. Beautiful. See? Nice and tight. If it's good, good wood. So, <clears throat> no need to have all this glue on here. Wipe it this way, though. We don't want to get any glue over there yet. <laughs> so there. Um, I suppose we could have glued this over here. I'll do that next time. Don't go too far. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. This is all good and hot. So we're going to stick this in here. Bring this along quick. Tighten this up holds everything flat hopefully like so I won't put it right on that crack I couldn't put a piece of plexiglass inside very easily because there's a rib inside here right here I didn't I didn't even look inside yet this is going very well we'll heat this up again keep the heater on for a while and this will be dry in no time. I bet I can take this apart maybe in an hour. And it will be ready for the other part. I'm going to keep it warm. Keep it shrunken. Shrink it down. Take the moisture out because it's summertime right now. and it's, We don't want to glue this together. In its expanded moisture expanded state. This is beautiful. Okay. There. Warm it back up. First order's a guitar. Stairway episodes four, I think. Anyways, um, got a heater there, we're heating it up, the heat's going through the hole. And we have some humidity gauge in there, it's down to 19%. Probably should go lower. 140 just like the piano wood we do we heat it up and everything's nice and warm good for this glue so why do we heat it up everybody thinks it's to extend the time of the gluing well which it does if you touch it down on cold wood it'll gel your hide glue right away so there's another reason why we heat it up and if you touch hot glue on cold wood you get a reaction, the gas is off. And here is a demonstration, I think. We have a thing of water here. 
And I'm going to hand the camera to my assistant. And he's going to just point it at the water. So these are these, these wood is cold. The water is warm. But if you submerge these, like if we'll say if that was high glue touching it, the gas is off. See the bubbles coming out everywhere. There's a piece of softwood. Oh my, look at this. See the bubbles? So when you touch your hide glue to your cold wood, not only does it gel your glue, but it gasses off at the same time. Pushes the glue out of the pores. And this is a piece of hard maple here. And it does the same thing. Probably with more force. You've got to be quiet. Anyways, and it will continue to do so. See the little bubbles there foaming until the wood reaches that temperature. And then it happens real slow. You can see the bubbles coming out of it there. And the glue cools off and you end up with a with a bad or a faulty bond compromised by cold wood gassing off. There we have it. Hot hide glue we were talking about. Touching it onto cold wood, doing your glue joints cold with hot hide glue. I was talking about how it drives the wood out of the pores because it gasses off. And I uh, forgot to mention that if you heat your wood up like this, and your glue is similar temperature then when you join them together as they cool off heating the wood up is already gassed off but as they cool off it sucks the glue into the pores and it kind of welds it together okay we got a steam brush here oops steam the lens Hopefully it'll clear up in a second. There we go. And we're going to get rid of the glue here that's in this joint so we can push these little pieces in. All this high glue off of here, a little bit over here. I don't want to steam this too much because it'll unglue it. The wood is soaked in. There we go. Wash it out nice and clean. Get this out of here. Especially this spot right here. Clean the glue out. There. That's how little it takes because everything is so small here. Beautiful. This piece will fit nice now. You can save that little piece of purfling right there. It's so delicate. Yeah, oh boy. Get away from there. That's all I wanted to do was wipe the glue off of this. And there we have it. It's all off. So, we're going to try to fit this little piece in here. We may have to move this out. That's what this steam was about also. I'm going to take the brush off. Oh, let's have a tube. And an X-Acto knife. Here we go. That's so I can get this little piece in there. Wherever it is. Here it is. We've got to clean the glue off of this too. I can push that in there. Because it's got to go underneath it. And this is in the way here. Almost. Come on, baby. Right there. We don't want to unglue the little blocks back here. Just want to move this over a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Move that little wedge over here. In fact, we'll use this wedge for this over here.
Yeah, some hot stuff. Push this like that. To get this out of the way. Oops. Some gluing. I think we have enough now. Push this a little more over here, like that. There we go. Drop this out of the way. Watch else so you don't burn yourself. Just push this over here. And we'll leave that like that for a few minutes. Put that cool off. There we go. It's out of the way. See if this fits in here now. It's got to go under there. Like so. And I think we can do it. Yep, just like that. See, this will push together like so. You've got to make sure it goes together well. pretty good glue this down at the same time just like that see push it together this will fit in with a little more coaxing and if we clean the glue off this piece here which we didn't it's got some it's got some glue in here that should be cleaned out We're going to clean this glue out of here a little bit, make sure it doesn't interfere. We're going to wash it and keep it warm. And we'll leave that like that for now, and then we'll push that back later. Okay, turn the heat, keep it warm, keep it dry. Okay, hopefully this will go without a hitch. Got it nice and hot. Everything's hot. 150 degrees inside the guitar. And what do we got here? Oh yeah. That down to about there. And I'm gonna glue this all up here. Got some busted up stuff. Alright. Another glue up. We got our little piece here. We got good high glue. We're gonna need this uh, crazy thing here again. Push it up like that. There we go. Put some glue under here on this crack. There we go. Get it all good in between these busted pieces here. Make sure I got glue under there. Pretty good. Little piece here. There we go. Hopefully this will go well. Don't need this.
sliding right into place it seems like. Look at that. Glue squishing out here. Over here. We're gonna leave this like that for now, I think. I'll push this I'll push this in later. There. That looks pretty good right there. Good. Okay, now we just put the clamp on there. Push that in. See, it's pushing right into place. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. We have a little plexiglass thing here somewhere. So here we go. This goes here. And I have an assistant here this time. You can put the clamp on here. Just to hold this into place. Yeah, it's got to go right on the edge, too, right like that. Like that. Oops, push this out a little bit. Oh, that's very nice. Barely on there, but it is. Don't take much pressure, just the weight of the clamp holds it. You gotta make sure, oh, it's in a good spot, and don't touch it. Right there. And make sure the inside is good. And, and it is. It's very, very even here. That's a pretty big surprise. It's pretty flat. That's good. Okay, we'll leave that sit here for a little while. Just let it sit. Well, Herschel's guitar is going back together. Maybe I can put that little piece in now. Maybe we can put this little piece in now. Got them over here under this tape. We'll see. There's the piece right there. Put that one there now. Here's that little piece I was talking about earlier. Kind of get it in position here and line it up best we can. There we go. Looks pretty good. We saved this little piece here that's ready to break off. If we can just push this up here like so. That'll work. Kind of tricky. So small, it just flies around when you touch it. Of course, with the glue, it would be a little sticky. It might help to hold it there. So, I'm going to put a little drop of glue here. And we'll see what happens. Oh boy. A little paintbrush in there. Just to fortify the stuff. I right, guess a real good hot glue here. And a little paintbrush.
Okay, got some glue here that's extra hot. Put it in the microwave. This stuff right here. And I got my little manipulator here. And hopefully we can just stick this together here. So this thing is broken. Put some glue under here. Over here. there like that and just push this thing in there like so a little more glue on this end here would be good Chisel or somewhere. That'll do. Just to hold this down while I lift this up. So. Cool is starting to set, but the whole guitar was heated up. <clears throat> So it's giving me some time here. Push that in place like that. Push that over here. Try to line up these little lines. There's one there. And the thing is bent in half a little bit. So try to straighten it out. Like that has been troublesome. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we the best we can. Put all the pieces back. That should be okay for another round of musical adventure. And other activities. Okay, there we are. Leave that just like that. Might be a little funky, but better than a big hole here. Just like so. Okay, we'll leave that. There. Okay, gluing the little little pieces back. The video, this isn't even dry yet. There's some glue on there that's a little soft, so we're gonna push this together here. And uh, A little bit of steam. You gotta watch this. Keep this up here. Push this back. There we go. Sticky, stretchy tape comes to the rescue. Push that right back in place. I need a little more heat here. There we go. I was 
down that was in the way down inside there. That looks pretty good right there. Push that in good. A little dab will do ya. that in line and we'll put our little pieces back here after. Most of it's together now. There we go. I'll leave that dry. There, pretty good. This is damage that was on the back side here from another time, I guess. Maybe this time. Could be. Hit pretty hard. Looks like an older damage, though. Um, so we're going to throw some super glue in here. Our friend super glue. Miracle stuff. There, look how it runs right in there. Isn't that nice? Runs in beautiful. Gorgeous, yeah, yeah, very good. Gotta get your knife out of here though, because it glues the knife too. Glues everything. One of the problems with it, especially you. All this in here. Yep, that'll wick right in there. It's amazing stuff. There we go. Watch your fingers, because boy, oh boy, oh boy, we glue you too. Make sure we don't have any here. Because it will stick if there is. This here like so. like so and this super glue will stick to the block but it won't stick to the steel and we'll see if we can't give this a little little squeeze here Gotta be just right, or else we'll screw up the whole thing. Can't be clamped crooked. Like I said, it's a guitar shop. I mean, this is a piano shop. We don't fix guitars here. Hmm. All right. And we have some little pieces here that were in a bag or taped up we have some little bits that I don't know where they go here's one here with a little bit of red on it and it looks like it goes here right there turn it over so Looks like I could go right there. Because they have that little red line. It's right there. Maybe the other way. But that's part of it. 
right there. Hmm. Okay. I don't have all the pieces, but I do have, well, there's one here that fits pretty good right there. And I have another one here. <coughs> this one. It's a kind of important. It goes right there. I'll have to get some glue and dab it in there. Put this piece back. Very important. Piece of the outer, what do they call this thing? Binding. That'll fit nicely right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got some stuff in back of it, maybe a little bit of glue. I gotta clean out here. But there, we'll put that back. And unfortunately, this little piece here is not around. I don't see it anyway. So, I'm going to push that there. Clean out the back of it because it doesn't, something's holding it here. There's probably some debris here. Oh, yeah. This. I suppose I should steam that. You see. Hit that with the steam and push this back when I put this piece back in here. That's what I'm going to do. Break out the steamer again. And it'll suck. See this piece here is, is part of this. And if I cut it out, it'll be gone. So if I just, just, just glue right here, that seems to be hardened here. When we tape this. So if I just moisten this up here with some steam here, and mush this up, push this back down so it's in line here, then I'll put our piece back in. Our critical piece and I'll have most of it unfortunately there's some over here that's quite a bit that's missing you have to build that up okay there we'll hit that okay I'm gonna glue this back in we have to fire up the steamer again and we got our glue ready glue in the microwave and we got our tiny little brush and we got our gooey glue and what we're going to do is uh, see if I can not move this little part here down and then I'll push it down with the chisel and see what's going on. I gotta watch this steam. This is hot stuff. It'll burn you in a second. There we go, see? Just moved it. Leave that there. Watch this. And we'll take this glue. Put a little dab there. So, and then we'll take this thing. And put it in there. Hope we don't drop it. Glue will help stick it there, like that. Push it in place. Try to get that bottom, that bottom line here, this thing down here in there too. And we did, see, part of it is still there. So push this in place. Well, it looks like some kind of a foreign object doesn't belong there. We'll get this out of here. That thing screwing everything up. We push this down into place. There we have it. Straighten it out a little bit. Like that. We'll just leave that. Leave that dry. 
We'll get our line straight anyway, down below. There we go. Everything is a little crooked. So. There, leave that like that half an hour or so. And we'll come back and put some more glue in there. It's the best we could do with the wicky wacky. Oh, this is loose now. Mm, uh oh, better put some glue in there. And this, there we go. Good. Good old tape to the rescue. Not bad. All the king's horses and all the king's people. There. 